you the fact that you are existing is enough reason for you to exist right and um sartre also said something similar because sartre argued like one of his main arguments on existentialism is that the most important idea of existing for individuals is that they are precisely that they're individuals they are independent conscious human beings that is the most important aspect of what it means to exist it's not uh the labels it's not the roles it's not stereotypes that you might see that you, that is given to you by society so a lot of times when you when you say that someone is having an existential crisis a lot of the times what it means is that they are just rethinking what it means to be themselves or because most people define themselves by their labels by their uh stereotypes that are given to them by society but if you say if you strip away all that and say that you are just one conscious human being that exists that lives in this world that is what uh, sartre called their true essence mm. because okay. human I've... beings they use their own consciousness and they create their own values and they add their own meaning to their life okay alex you're saying something yeah so i have some more stuff for existentialism to build off what akash said mm -hmm. so that thing with people living with their labels mm -hmm. sartre had kind of i don't know if he said it exactly but he considered that living in bad faith where you're living and accepting things as one way and right. you're not considering the other possibilities mm -hmm. so that was one thing okay. as individuals there's we he argues that we kind of have an a responsibility to explore the myriad of possibilities that are open to us mm -hmm. so an example would be of somebody living in bad faith would be a waiter who has mm -hmm. been a waiter for so long that they can't imagine themselves as anything other than a waiter. They're kind of absorbed by the title. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. It's basically just applying labels to people um, that's defined. People are, their definitions are given to them by how they act. It's, as opposed I feel to, like, go ahead. I, I feel like that's just the way that we are kind of brought up like we have all of these labels like even from a kid you were classified like oh this one is a boy and this one is a girl this one is a preteen this one is an adult right we mm -hmm. have all of these society just has all of these labels that people can classify themselves with but i feel like having those and basing your entire like identity and existence off of them right is unhealthy like right i remember i was talking to uh my cousin and i was saying that you know there's all these people that define themselves solely by their labels and that's their entire identity and then she asked me okay then what are you and i said oh I'm a video game playing metalhead uh, programmer. Mm -hmm. And then she just said, well, aren't you just giving yourself occupational labels? And so I do think it's, it's beneficial to take a step back and just try to remove all of them and just think, okay, as a person without any societal classifications, what am i right and yes, that's actually that's a that directly ties into a quote that sauter said in his work existentialism is a humanism he said uh quote unquote man first of all exists encounters himself 
surges up in the world and then defines himself afterwards. So mm. the very first thing is that you exist. The definition comes after. And the when what Alex said about bad faith and how people are given labels uh, due to their occupation or how they might act. I One of the reasons why that could also be considered bad faith is because, well, the, the more positive aspect to it being bad faith is that a person can choose their own labels. They can change themselves and become whoever they want to be. They don't have to depend solely on the labels that are given to them by others. I think that's true to an extent, for sure. It just like, it, I think it goes a little deeper because now you're asking, are you the one that determines who you are, like objectively? Or is it your actions and other people's perception of you that creates that? And I think that's like an entire like question on its own that's separate from like just the philosophical idea. So I had something to say about um what G was talking about, labels. And just the whole not being defined by them. So labels aren't inherently a bad thing, right? Right. Our brains are programmed to look for patterns and we have schemas so we can classify things so that they're more easily understood. So having labels isn't necessarily bad. It's just a way that our brains can process the world more easily, right? Mm -hmm. But when we, I guess the problem arises is when you take this label that is meant to make it so that your life is more easily digestible and make it that's your whole like worldview and right. this is who i must be even right. though something deep inside you is telling you something like you shouldn't be this it's suffering to keep doing this mm -hmm. you I mean, should be something else and right. then you just keep going because you're scared of this like societal backlash mm -hmm. I think even even if you aren't scared of societal backlash, and even if you aren't, and uh, uh, you're, uh, what you said is true, but I mean, but I'm saying even if that wasn't true, those conditions, even then, relying, given like what I said before about the true essence of what it means to be a human being, the true essence shouldn't be that the true essence shouldn't be the label, right? So. It's first of all, your true essence is that you're a conscious individual. After that is what comes the 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 labels, the roles, the stereotypes, etc. So to solely well define, yeah, to solely define your true essence with your labels, I feel it can lead to problems in society because people tend to get this uh this wired robotic thinking where we start treating indivi individuals less like individuals and more like more by their group identity yeah so philosophically just something i was thinking about i'm sure there's a lot of different theories of what a person is when mm -hmm. you strip away all those labels, mm -hmm. like how would you define yourself without using any labels? A human being. I mean, deeper than that. Is there anything deeper than that? I mean, the only thing deeper you can go is the mind, the consciousness. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Because essentially, if you think about it, we are all just uh, brains inside of a skeleton, right? Right. Yeah, but like supposedly. 
Yeah, but like that's not. I don't think that's what G means. I think he means like beyond the literal definition of what we are. Is like, what are we? Like that's a whole question of individuality, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's incredibly difficult to define yourself without using any sort of categorical like organization. It's right hard. I mean. There are people out there just like you, so what separates you from everyone else? I mean, I don't think we necessarily have to be separated from everyone else. Like, wh- why Why do you want to be separated from everyone else? Or why, why, why do you want to be unique? Why is this such a... Because I hear this all the time, you know, uh, everybody is unique and, you know, suppose that obvi- obviously everybody is unique. You know, we all look different. We all, uh, think different to some extent, but mm-hmm. there's nothing wrong with defining yourself with your labels or your roles given to you. It's just that once you start taking people and s- stripping away their individuality, in favor of their group identity, that's where I think the problem lies. Mm -hmm. Mm. Because I feel like the main, whenever you hear individuality, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of, you, you think individual as in I am unique to everyone else, but there is going to, there are over 8 billion people on this planet. There is bound to be someone who is, very similar to you right no or someone will share at least one label with you Mm -hmm. so uh, the thing is like the individuality just has that connotation of oh i need to be separate from everyone else while still maintaining the group identity right right i mean uh, for to me it's never the idea of being an individual never really struck me as trying to be separate from everyone else, but rather um, being an individual within a group because to, because what happens when you start taking, because like you said, uh, with 8 billion people on this planet, there's bound to be someone with similar thinking. But if you take, people and you start defining them by solely their group identity to me that that constitutes a problem because the group identity becomes an umbrella for everyone who might not all share the same view exactly yeah 